Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to part 5 of season 3 of the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. It's part 122 of the series as a whole and today we play against the Angry Farmer David Gilbert in the last 16 of the 6 Reds World Championship. It's a best of 7 frames and this is a match I'm very much looking forward to. We got through the group stages <laughs> with not much ease funnily enough. We beat Joe Perry uh, who would be probably the hardest player in the group by 3 frames. Neil started the group off fantastically. And then we just squeezed through against Lucas Clackers and Robbie Williams by three frames to two each. So we're unbeaten in the competition so far. And of course now it is a complete knockout stage. First player to four frames today goes through to the last eight. And of course the other player drops out of the tournament. Now we played against Dave Gilbert once in the career mode. So there was no need for a head-to-head -head screen like we would usually have in these videos. We've only played against him once and that was in the Coral uh, Players Championship last year. In the last 16, and we beat him by three frames to one. But of course, it's a completely different game, as uh, the, the, the title of the tournament suggests. There are only three, uh, I was going to say three reds, that would be even worse. There's only six reds on the table. And hopefully, today's match is a lot more reminiscent of the way we played against Joe Perry, rather than the way when we played against Lucas Kleckers and Robbie Williams, because we weren't very good at all. In the end, I just decided not to take it very seriously, because I'd only get down, downhearted if... <laughs> We start to take it really seriously. Bit of luck there for Dave Gilbert, though. The up in a very safe so we're just going to play this red into the pack. Maybe played that a little bit too hard, perhaps. But I think we're okay. Shot, really. Oh, now we can get to this red. Well, that was a little bit poor. We should have played that with a lot less pace. Just put it into the pack. I think the idea was a good one. But Dave Gilbert, through that one mistake, has got a good chance to go and win this frame. Of course, the frames are a lot faster in terms of their pace with only being six reds. The frame goes by so quickly, it's unbelievable. And just one mistake like that, one little mistake, and your opponent could very easily punish you. But a best of seven here, it's on medium match length, so it's interesting that this tournament is a best of seven at this point, as opposed to most other tournaments where it's just a best of five. So I'll be interested to see how that increases. Um, I would probably guess the final is going to be a best of nine if we got there. I don't see it being much more than that with medium pace. I believe it's a best of... No, I don't actually know what it is in real life. I think it's probably a best of 17 maximum, I'd say. I wouldn't think it would be any longer than that. Or any uh, much uh, but close to that. So I think it would probably be 11 at most, I would say. Probably a best of 9, more likely. We've got to get through today's match, though, and three other matches before we worry about that whatsoever. I'd just like to say, though, thank you very much to all of you who are, who are enjoying the series so far. I'm really enjoying this third season. It's a bit of a revitalisation for me. I think that last season, especially in those final parts, we were focused so much on the World Championship, but that is a miss for Gilbert. That's a poor miss. We were so focused on the World Championship that I think our snooker just went to pot a little bit. And we've missed the red. Well, that's a bad miss. So a let off for Dave Gilbert there. It was a tough red, but we just got way off with the angle. Perhaps we have just played the safety, but you get a little bit greedy sometimes with that sort of shot. It's just a colour needed then, and barring snookers, he's won the frame. Justice green ball now. And that'll do. So barring snookers, Dave Gilbert goes one nil ahead. I mean, we're only about three minutes into the match, which just shows how quickly these frames can go. Oh, he's missed the yellow though, so potential chance for us to get a snooker here. Let me try and pop the yellow though first. Can't really play a safety on that, I wouldn't say. Oh, well, we've missed it. Haven't had a successful pot at all yet, have we? We've had two tries and failed on both attempts. So you would think Dave Gilbert would win this now. We're going to let him play just for fairness and not being too bitter. <laughs> Could have conceded the frame there, but we'll let him clean up. It's only fair. In real life, you couldn't say, sorry, Dave, you know, you ain't doing that. <laughs> no. I suppose I could have just said, look, we'll concede the frame there, but I'm happy to let him play on. Okay. Don't think he's going to get much of a pot there. Although, he might as well try a double. No, I don't think he's really going to get it with that sort of shot. So, we'll concede the frame, and Dave Gilbert takes frame one in this best of seven. Well played to take that frame. 
So Dive Gilbert with another shot then to Brykov here. Getting very close to the brown for that Brykov shot. Just to try and replicate a normal Brykov, of course, the reds are going to be a lot narrower in terms of their splits. So it's important to just get to that edge red like you would usually. That's a little bit more awkward with there only being six reds. But that is a bit of a chance for us that Dive Gilbert's given away from the outset here. And that's our first pot of the day. A good one. Need a little bit of luck with our position here. And it's certainly not too bad. Now we missed one of these in uh, another ep in I think it was the last episode, I think, actually. And to get on the red, we can't play it too hard. And, he's going for it. and hopefully we're on target. Looks good to me. It's there. Good clean pot. Great there. A little bit awkward the angle now. Six. So I think we might as well just try and play this into the reds. Or do we? No, I don't think we do. Uh, yeah, I think we've got to. That's a good split. Good split. A lot better than I imagined it would be, actually. I thought we'd struggle a little bit with that sort of pace, but good split. Gotta play this pink. It's a bit of a troublesome pot. Looks okay though, and it's there. Thirteen. So we should be good here unless we really muck this up to bring this back to level, level pegging. That was poor shot. 14. Oh dear, I'll keep that in for a bit of comedy. And that was a really poor shot that was. I think we're going to have to play the pink here, though. Very tricky shot coming up. It's there, though. Good pop. But again, a really poor shot in terms of position. Played a little bit of safety in mind there. I have to do exactly the same now. Get this up to bulk and hopefully get a bit of safety. Oh, we overhit that just slightly. Not it's a shame. Really the result he was after. Neil Robertson, 20. Not quite getting the rub of the green in these first two frames just yet. It should come, hopefully, though. A little bit softer and we'd applied a nice safety. That's a good red from Dave Gilbert. Brilliant shot. Good pot on the blue as well. And you'd think there wouldn't be much issue with him winning the frame. I think I jinxed myself earlier on, didn't I, by saying, well, unless we make a terrible mistake, we should be fine. Be interested to see what sort of shot he plays here. Mm, good angle for the middle pocket. Well, oh, he's potted the pink. Good pot. He's queuing extremely well here. So he's one ahead with 27 left on the table. If he clears the colours, he takes a 2 0 lead. We've got work to do. 26. Or else this match could be over very, very quickly. 30. Good use of the jaw there to get a little bit straighter on the blue. If that hadn't have worked, he could be 35. quite off position. 41. Good break of 48. This is seeming to be though now to steal the frame. And Gilbert goes 2-0 up. 40 up. And the frame, David Gilbert. That is the frame. So we've got clear work to do That's to get back into this. And this will be worrying for his opponent. Definitely. He's playing some great snooker at the moment. And he's on a real roll. This will be concerning for his opponent. Mm, didn't really want to hit that yellow like we did. That's the only trouble. I, I mentioned it in the last episode with our break-offs, the fact that we do leave that one red just for a simple safety. But that's the only risk, I would say, with the, with the break-off shots we play. Just about get to this edge red, I think. Yeah, good shot. Nice to get a little bit of luck from this bulk cushion. A little bit more power would have been desirable, but it's a good shot. 
Had no choice there but to play that shot. And where's this cue ball going? Is he going to get away with it? I think he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Ouch. Neil Robertson, four. Well, we're going to play on, and I think we might as well take on the shot to nothing here. Half a chance here. Great pot. Brilliant. Just look at that for a positional shot. Superb. Did play that with safety in mind, of course. We had to. It's like a bit of a trickier shot now, but I've got faith. Should be able to get a pot here. He's an expert long potter and he's taking this on. Good pot. What's the position like? We did under hit that. Well, an excellent Should be able to get to that one next to the pink, shouldn't we, actually? We can, yeah. No problem with that. to drop into the centre pocket. Good pot. Just a straight shot onto the blue. Could have done with yes, probably been bulk side of that blue. Seven. So we'll probably play the green instead. This blue's not going to help out here. Hmm. So I think we are going to have to play the blue. Try and come all around the table. I think that's the only thing we can do. With a lot of power. It's finished a bit awkward here. Mm, it's not great, is it? This is starting to get frustrating now. Twelve. Just can't quite seem to play our shots right. And again, we're really at a stage of end of break here. Very frustrating. Got the cue ball back up to bulk though. Not the best safety in the world, but hopefully it should be okay. Yeah, he's not taking on a pot. And where's this cue ball going again? Oh, just about gets away with it this time. Doesn't get away with not leaving a pot on though. Safety which we'd previously played. Would be quite a good chance if somebody got into the right position for it. And we did there. And there we go. We're off to a start again. Just need to make sure we do it correctly this time and that this break works out. We don't muck it up. Shouldn't be too much issue, I don't think, of playing this with power. Good pot. Oh, wonderful shot. Bit of a must-win frame, you have to say, this. If we go 3-0 down, it's a bit of a worry. It's a real worry, in fact. Mm, don't want to play this too. Oh, in fact. I'm just not confident we're playing the black. We're going to have to play it. We haven't got too much choice, really. Just in case we can get to this red if that black goes back on its spot. And we can. So that's all hunky dory. Fifteen. Goodness me, the horses are going mad this morning. Cheers to the dog. And don't worry, we, we don't like have a farm. <laughs> we have. Uh, this is the key shot. This goes in. Horses on the back of us as well. Good shot though. That should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. Twenty-two. And as Neil Fold said, you would think that we should have this frame wrapped up. Twenty-three. Not the best shot there, to be honest. He's 
is aiming to sink this into the right corner. Brown's there. Mm, I haven't really got too lucky with the position of the yellow, but it doesn't matter. 27. Nope, that should be more than enough, you'd think. I don't think he'll come back to the table now. And we minimise, we half the gap. We've got a frame back. It's two frames to one. Very weird, I have to say, this six reds format. It feels so odd and so different to any other format. I thought the shootout was good, different, but goodness me, this is... Uh, even more bizarre. Tricky pop, no doubt. But Gilbert left one off the break, and we've potted it. Red. One. You might naturally think the black's the best shot to take here, but I'm going to take the blue one. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. It's there. Really impressive queuing. Not ideal on this red, I have to be said. It's a little bit poor. He's aiming for the left corner here. But if we if we miss it, which we have, goodness me, I put even more angle into that. Neil and I was planning to. We only leave the red that we played. Mm, we underdid that, unfortunately, with the blue, and that was the that was the killer when it came to that shot. You can see I'm not very good at those types of shots. I put more angle into it to compensate, and even then we were way off. So just highlights that the position is the most important thing. Mm, and you'd think he'll do the usual uniform thing here. Play the blue, smash into the reds, and well, much like the first frame, it only takes a little mistake like that, and your opponent straight in. And I can't see much issue here with Dave Gilbert making it 3-1. Which means we'll have to produce somewhat of a comeback. All the way from 3-1 down to 4-3. Wouldn't write off our chance in this frame just yet though. 18. I think to do four frames in the space of about 20 minutes must be some sort of record. <laughs> Feels very odd. 19. Just means that mistakes like the one we made can be punished so much easier in a frame. Goodness me, that's a good pot. 22. Not so great in terms of position here, though. He's going to play the safety. David Gilbert, Hasn't worked for him, though. That was a disaster. I think he was trying to probably get the snooker with the blue. Going for it. But he couldn't get it. What a great pot. And we potted the the red. One. And hopefully we can look to bring it back now to, to two each. Eight. Signs to play the long pot here. I'm quite happy with this, so that's why I've done it. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. It's there, good pot. A nice position on the green. Going to be a little bit awkward to queue for the for the brown. Going to have to play it to the middle, unfortunately. Fantastic opportunity. We got to punish Gilbert here, though. Thirteen. Shouldn't be too much issue with this, you wouldn't think. Excellent shot. Got to keep our focus. We'll bring it back to two each. This needs to be played at the right pace. Blue and pink ball needed. Blue's there. Got a decent position on the pink, but these are never 22. an exact science. Just a bit of a hit and hope shot. You can get a little bit of lucky sometimes with these. It's there though. Got great position on the black. And there you go. From 2 0 down, we brought it back to 2 2, so we're right in the game now. And, that is the and now it becomes a best of three. Well, there's nothing between these two players at the moment. A fascinating contest. 
So this should be an enjoyable climax to the match. One that's going at some pace. So I can see the I can see the sort of enjoyment and the and the attraction for this sort of tournament. Because it's so quick paced. Oh, we very nearly made a mistake there. Got very lucky they didn't go into all the reds. And equally lucky that he's not left this red on. Don't think there's room for another. Oh, there might be. There certainly is. I think it might be worth playing a shot to nothing here. He fancies this red. <sighs> Unlucky. Do we get a little bit of luck of the gods? Mm, don't think we do. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Good pot from Gilbert. There's always going to be a gamble to take that on. He now gets a chance. I think it was worth the risk though, but that, oh, well, he gets away with that. I thought he'd just put the black onto the cushion. Nice he'd have a real problem there, but that is end of break. 16. Bit of a bizarre shot. Trying to get some safety. I think, again, it might be worth another shot to nothing here. He's looking at this red. Great pot. Where's the cue ball? Oh, no. Oh, it's gutting. David Gilbert, four. Ball in hand. He's going to oh. Never think about that sometimes. Mm, well, that would have been a great chance. It was a good pot as well. Nice, clean connection. What can he do here? But sometimes you just don't get a bit, you get a bit unlucky. That's a shame. This into the right corner. Should have just whacked that really and hope for the best. What a top shot that is. Wonderful shot. Just the colour and the red needed, and unfortunately, Dave Gilbert regains that lead. Don't want to play that in a deciding frame. <laughs> so it looks like it's gonna be 3 2 to Gilbert. So we need to win the next two frames. So I have a chance to go through to the quarterfinals. This red required. Good part. Down it goes. Well, he stops the rot in some ways. We were on a bit of a run there. 14. Ooh, he's missed the yellow though. Don't David think he was particularly attempted to pot it, to be honest. Gonna be tricky to get two snookers, but. Yeah, it might be worth a try. Potentially try and get this green behind the behind the brown. This really is tricky. The trouble is we might pot it, we don't want to do that. Oh, we've overhit that, I think. Yeah, we have. Mm. Yeah, well, I think we'll concede the frame there. I don't think there's any chance he's going to miss that. And Dave Gilbert takes the lead by three frames to two. Frame conceded. Frame, David Gilbert. And that is the frame. Well played. So frame six for potential seven. We need to win this one. Stay in it. And cue the sixth frame. David Gilbert to break. And he's left another straight chance. In fact, probably the best chance we've been given all day. In terms of a starter. Right pot. Opening red. One. This is tough. Need to do what he didn't do in the previous frame. Brilliant. Or whenever it was, I think frame four. And we underplayed the red, and if anything, we've overplayed it a bit there, but it's a much easier pot than the one that we missed in that, that frame. And it's there. I have cooked it on the blue a little bit, but hopefully, yeah, it should be fine for a pot, you would think. Only just, though. This is a risky Finding shot. To the middle pocket. Mm, I have to say, I'm not too sure about that. I'm just, I'm not, I'm going to take the low risk here. I just don't want that to go wrong, miss the blue, and we could be out of the tournament, sure so. There, but that's a poor shot. I didn't want to play that.
This shot could be seen as risky as well. Oh, especially if we hit a red. Well, that's not gone well. We've got it back up to the bulk, sure, so it leaves a long pot on. There's always that risk. Ah, but that was poor. That being said, I think it'd have been even worse if we'd have played into the reds and missed the blue. If we hadn't missed the blue, of course, then great. But is it going to be another match like the one against Ding? Well, what's he doing here? What's he doing here? That's not gone in. I don't know what on earth Dave Gilbert's played there, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> Gives us another chance. This is really tricky. Very bizarre. Middle pocket's not that forgiving, but I've got good faith that that'll go in as it does. What a wonderful not a clue what he did there. He didn't play that with much pace at all, but he was never going to go in, that wasn't. Not a clue what he was trying to do there. A bit casual there. He'll be annoyed with that. Seven. Oh, wow. Interesting. Try and play the plant here. I don't think there's too much risk involved. It's there. Good pot. Just a little bit wary about not getting the angle on the red. That's why I played the plant as opposed to the usual pot, which might have been possible, but we'd have come to regret it, wouldn't we, if it had gone wrong. So. We haven't quite applied that hard enough. Should be safe up bulk here, you would think. Needed that to be a little bit softer, to be honest. Mm, gives him a chance. Don't need this sort of pressure <laughs> at this point. He's taking the red on. Sure, he wouldn't miss another one, would he? But he has. Goodness me. Well, well. This has to go in. It's there. Not great in terms of position, but there was an element of safe to use there. One. So just a colour and a red. Well, there's only one red left, isn't there? Tell you what, it's a shocker. Eh, it's not that bad, actually. Of course, we can't get... Ooh, can't quite get the pot here, so... Just line this red up behind the... Uh, bind the cue ball up behind the black. Might be the best thing to do here. Neil Robertson, four. And we've got the snooker. Won't want to under-hit this shot. Well, that's a bit of a stinker from Gilbert, so just the red required. It's not a definite pot, it can all go wrong. But it's there, and we take Dave Gilbert to a decider. And that effectively shuts out his opponent in this frame. Been a very bizarre match, hasn't it? Super fast paced. We might as well try and clean up here, just get a feel for the table. And we need to play a pretty foolproof decider because, to be honest, I think we've got away with quite a few mistakes today. So we're quite lucky to get to this point. We haven't played badly, but there are a few questionable shots that we've played that we need to look at. Just the three balls to go then. And each one of us is one frame away from that last eight. Twenty-two. He's aiming for the left corner here. And we've overhit that. Twenty-eight. Is this a bit awkward? But luckily, there's no problem with it. And the blacks there, good pot, and with that. It's three frames apiece, and it's a one-frame shootout for who gets into the last eight. Don't go away. And now the frame is his. So I think he'll be ruining the chance he didn't take in that frame, to be honest, Will Gilbert. 
This is a great opportunity to and a few chances for him Just not to take this to a decider, but that's the way it is now. There's nothing he can do about it. Just got to win this frame, and that wasn't the best break off in the world. Does leave a potential chance with this red, but it, with it being a decider, I don't blame him for not do, doing it, not playing it. But that's a poor safety from David Gilbert. There really is. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. Mm, we've mucked that up. One. Need to hit this at the right angle or else we could have a repeat of a previous frame. Oh, we've overhit it. Oh, yeah. That was a shocker. Well, you could do with some help from the book cushion, which he's got. to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion with the shot. Wonder hit that I think you know. I think we have mm, left a red on. He's taking this red on. He's missed it. Well Gilbert's potting game has not been great all day. Got away with it though, he's not left it on. Forced to play a pot though here. Can't see much chance of getting this cue ball safe. And luckily it's there. Could have been a game ender for us if we'd have missed that. But we were on target luckily. And now it's us who are the favourites to go through. Want to get rid of this red really. Because if we ever have to play a safety it's just one less... Worry off my mind. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. It's there. In it goes. Great queuing. Eight. Bit crap in terms of our position, though. I have to say. We never like to make things easy for ourselves, do we? Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Hmm. Well. That's a bloody disaster. Ten. Again, I think it might as well be worth playing another shot Give to nothing. No well, really we've missed close. that that time. Not quite close enough. But luckily, we did get safe there. I don't think he's going to try a pot Neil this Robinson, time. Ten. He might do. He's playing the pot here. He's playing the pot and he's missed it. And he's not got the cue ball safe. Left quite a, an easy one here. Well, I say quite an easy one. It's only easy if it goes in. It's there. That's a Great pot. Position looks very good here. He's played that very well. One. Hmm. Not ideal. Wants that to run a lot further. Tell you what, we're doing our best to give Gilbert chance after chance here. Let's play this soft and hope for the best. The it's there, it's dropped. Excellent pot. Superb. What about that for a positional shot? Perfect. We're just gonna have to play the brown and then play the safety. Would you believe it? Oh, I kinda knew it wasn't gonna be on that red. It's fairly obvious, wasn't it? I don't quite think we're going for the pot there somehow. Neil Robertson, twelve. So he needs everything on the table now, unless he gets a snooker. Certainly didn't get one there. Not quite sure what his plan his plan was there. Mm, I could left leave this though. Mm, dear, I overheat that one. This is an easy. And when it counts, he's potted the red. Oh no! Oh, I'm a bit worried here. Eight. 
Needs a full clearance though, and uh, he's chickened out of going for the yellow, which personally I don't really blame him for. There's the dog. Happy as Larry. That's safe though. Don't quite think we've got a snooker. No. He's left a chance though. We've got to finish it off this time. Really have got to. Tough shot coming up. Good shot. shot Great pot. Well, and the green will do it. To being 2 0 down. 3 2 down. Green ball needed here. If we win this, it'll be the only time in the seven frames we've been ahead. But it looks good. And I'll tell you what, we have really got away with it today. Dave Gill must be thinking how on earth he hasn't managed to win this match. That's a poor shot, but doesn't really matter at this point. Nine. This is being played towards the left middle pocket. Good recovery though. Where's the cue ball? Foul, but it doesn't it's okay though. We're absolutely fine. <laughs> I knew it would be fine really. And uh, well, he's, he's coming back for this. But uh, yeah, again, he's not made a very good attempt with that to be honest. It's there. And I'll tell you what, we've, we've made it hard for ourselves to try and win this match. But I think I can pretty well confirm now that that is it. This is a half chance. Yep, pink's there. Should be no problem now. It's been a bizarre match. These six red matches I'm finding are pretty bizarre anyway. Go for the black. Great pot. And with that black, we lead for the first time against David Gilbert. And it's at full time, so it's the crucial time to lead. We beat Dave Gilbert by four frames to three. And we're through to the last eight of the Six Reds World Championship. Well, to be fair, we got far more points uh, than David Gilbert. I didn't realise that, actually. I suppose that that frame we won to nil helped. And there were a few frames that he won when we were clo quite close. So that's probably why that's the case. But we get through to the next round. And in the last eight, we are facing... Jack Lazowski. Mm, interesting. We've won £9,000 for this tournament so far. Beat Lazowski in next episode. And we get through to the semis and win £17,000. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. But until the next one, that is it from me. So thank you very much for your company today. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye for now.